Remember when your parents said never play with matches? They were just kidding. This scamtacular episode of Scam School brought to you by Squarespace and GoDaddy. Welcome to the show that's even more fun than ants in your pants. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and when it comes to Scam School, the only thing the audience loves more than playing with fire is really dangerous tricks. So we combine the two, because tonight, we're playing with matches. Hey guys, I'm Brian. What's your name? Hey, I'm Liz. Liz and? Kimberly. Kimberly. Now here's the thing, on Scam School, sometimes it's all about winning a free drink, sometimes it's about doing something really stupid and or dangerous and playing with fire. Lucky for you, this is one of those playing with fire episodes. Awesome. But don't worry, we're here at the uh, Department of Spontaneous Combustion, which means everything has to be safe, right? I'm gonna show you, and better yet, I'm gonna teach you not one, but two stupid things you can do with matches. So we'll start with number one here. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. There we go. That's one stupid thing. Wow, that's epic. <laughs> <laughs> Epically retarded. <laughs> but then there's, then there's part two. Moderately amusing. Oh. There you go. I can tell you're excited about the second part. I'm gonna teach you guys both of these and we're gonna explain how to do it. Okay. But first we have to thank our sponsors. All right, let's talk about Squarespace for a bit. By now, you know that anyone who's ever mattered in the history of the internet is running over to Squarespace, and you know why. The pages look amazing. It's blindingly easy to make changes and updates from any computer out there. In fact, for months now, I've been saying the only way Squarespace could be any better is if I could update it while I'm drunk at the bar without any computers in sight. And now that's exactly what you can do with their killer new iPhone app. This thing is amazing. You can track hits to your pages, find out where traffic is coming from. You can even make updates from the bar. You can take pictures and post them. You can post videos. Almost anything you can do for the computer, you can do on the iPhone app. This thing is amazing. I'm telling you, the guys from Squarespace keep knocking it out of the park. Head on over to squarespace.com right now. And when you sign up, make sure to use the promo code SCAMSCHOOL. That's all one word. And you'll get 10% off the lifetime of your order and best of all you'll be keeping scam school in business and yourself swimming in free drinks promo code scam school we're going to start off with the easier of the two and it's okay. way easier especially if you use paper matches because paper matches produce much less flame but to actually put a match out on your tongue is really pretty simple all you need is a lot of saliva huh? and you just wipe it down and when you do that there's never enough heat on any one part of the tongue you'll actually never even really feel the heat at all. A couple of things though, you don't want to take a long time. The longer you wait for it to burn, the weaker the wood between the match and the head is, and the likelier it is that the match head will pop off and actually burn on your tongue. Delicious. The good news is, when you burn your tongue, and you will, forgot to mention that part, absolutely you will get burned trying to learn how to do this and if you don't get burned you'll probably fling a match head at somebody across the way from you and they will get burned so in fact nobody should ever try this ever anyone at all in fact all of a sudden I'm realizing I never really cleared this with uh, revision 3 safety before we decided to teach it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna light it once it's lit give it just a couple of seconds if you want to be chicken you can keep the flame tiny and just wipe it right away like that right if you want to make it look good, you can turn it upside down to get a little more of the match head burning, and then just wipe it down the front of your tongue. You'll never even feel the hit. You don't, you don't have to like twist it. You, just... you know what? Actually, that's not a bad idea. If you twist it, you're going to get more of the match head, more of the hot part of the match head, wiping around your tongue. So it'll feel a little bit warmer, but you have a much more increased chance of actually putting out the match when you go down. Because if you do it kind of half-ass, you can be like this, where you go, ah. And then it doesn't go out, and everyone's just like, ah, you're afraid of the flame, right? So you got to make love to the flame and go, ah, like 
like that. That's, I didn't mean that for that to be as sexual as it said. All right, let me, let me get you guys to try it here. Okay. Each of you guys grab a match. You can strike it on the side of the box. You don't have to quite learn to light it on your teeth just yet. After you. <laughs> All right. All right, tug out. Then make sure there's lots of saliva on your tongue and just wipe it down. Look at that. Oh! All right, two out of three, we've done it. Now whose turn is it? All right, you can do it. All right, Liz. There you go, it's lit. Tongue out, lots of saliva. Wipe it down. Hey! See, it's easy, right? <laughs> but now here's the important part. It doesn't taste too bad. Can you light a match with your teeth? This week we have a killer submission in our quest to find the ultimate domain smack. User Bum on the Run registered the domain votedworstplacetowork.com and sent me this letter saying that his company, quote, recently fired me after working there for four years. They told me they would not promote me because I'm in school, so I requested a demotion. Instead, they fired me for asking for the demotion because they want people who want to move up. They earned the Best Places to Work award because all the employees are afraid of getting fired for giving a bad review, so I'm officially giving them the award they deserve. That is freaking epic, dude. If you want to submit your domain smack, head on over to GoDaddy.com and register a domain for only $7.49 if you use the promo code SCAM3 at checkout, and they'll forward it anywhere you want absolutely free. Then make sure to send them on over to me at Brian at Revision3.com so we can feature them right here on the show. Okay, second part, to light a match with the teeth. And that's so cool, that's such like a Clint Eastwood gunslinger thing to do. Just walk up and pop, you light a match with your teeth. It's a little bit tougher and it doesn't always work, but if you just want to goof off with your friends, this might impress them. A couple of things you want to do is, first of all, always get Strike Anywhere matches. Now, they often, in this same kind of box, will have them that say Strike on Box matches. Make sure they're Strike Anywhere. So regular matches has, has only the red phosphorus. I think that's what it is. But whatever that substance is, they only have the red stuff on there. And when you strike it, it just strikes just on the box. Strike Anywhere matches, you can actually, any place you can get enough friction to heat up that white part will immediately go ahead and light up. Now the amazing thing is that you can actually get that white part hot enough to ignite just with the surface area on the very front of your teeth. But the thing is, most of them, right out of the box, you'll notice have very little of the white tip at the end. What you wanna do is pick out the ones that have big, honking, white tips on the end. Because the more of that white stuff, the easier it is to combust right on the tip of your teeth. Now, second thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you get enough friction to actually light that white part of the match. So, for that, what you gotta do is make sure that your teeth are dry. So take a napkin and dry them off. The drier they are, the better it'll work. And second of all, when you put it on your teeth, find a niche that covers as much of the surface area as you could possibly get. For example, if you just try it on the tip of the tooth like this, you're not gonna get enough surface area to actually ignite it. So if you wanna actually play it safe, uh, uh, uh. see this is way less cool, right? You don't, you don't see the gunslinger walk into a bar and say, hold on gentlemen. Let me dry my teeth off. <laughs> you, you, you want pressure, you want maximized surface area, and a couple of different ways to do it. If you want to pop it forward, if your teeth happen to be the right shape, you should be able to pop it forward. It'll totally ignite. Sometimes your teeth aren't that way, so you can drag it crossways across the teeth. Uh, and then you get something like this. Like that. Uh, and it ignites it. Okay. But, now you understand the principles, so let's see you guys go to town. Okay, so remember, you want to pick out the matches that have the most white area on there. You're gonna use your napkin. Yeah, there you go, lots of uh, that one right <laughs> Thank there. Thank you, Colleen, right again, <laughs> for picking out the matches. Yeah, dude, she totally cherry-picked all the good ones. Actually, I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna make yeah. you guys try the other one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 did it work, did it work? You started too early. Okay, couple of things to remember, couple of things to remember. Okay, couple of things to remember. There is a chance that that white batch head will pop off in your mouth or fling over to someone else. So make sure wherever you're doing this, you have proper safety yeah? controls. Really? Yeah, and apparently that's true. That's what I'm told. It's never happened to you before. No, 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 no. not more than once at the same shoe, no way. Like that. Go for it, go for it. No, you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. You can hear it going? Yeah! Right on! <laughs> All right, now put it out. Uh, oh, wait, oh, well, 
went out naturally. <laughs> All right, Liz. <laughs> no pressure. All right, yeah. You can I, hear I did it. it the sideways way. That was easier. Sideways way is going to be way easier. Really? Yeah. yeah. You're starting up in the crook of your mouth, like up up here, and the problem is it has to go. The problem is it has to go down and then across. So instead, go across your incisor. Down. Start in the middle right of one incisor, like this, right here, and, and then just drag across. Okay. Like and then it should like. Uh uh. I don't think. Drag it like further. There you go. All the way across. <laughs> Just straight across. When you drag it crosswise across your incisors, what'll happen is as your teeth are in it, it'll dig out a groove to where it should stay flat all the way across. And you should be able to just go, ah, uh, up. Like that. <laughs> Look at that, we got it down. Let's just relight this. We'll put it out on our tongues. Well, oh, there you go, well done. I don't know. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. How do you want, you want a confidence that? booster here? Oh I will God. light this on your teeth. There you go. There you go. Closer, closer. There you go, Ray. So we'll put this right in here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> All right, now you can put this one out. Yeah! Well done. It takes a lot of practice, and you never know when you're gonna figure out what works right for your mouth, but I noticed that your teeth actually seem really smooth on the bottom. You got, you got pretty teeth. Uh, the, <laughs> and so that can actually be a problem. If your teeth are too smooth, it's too tough to get proper friction on there, so if you have kind of rough teeth on the bottom, I tell you, you guys are good sports, regardless of how, whether or not you ever do this again. Thank you guys so much, that was a lot of fun. First, last, and always think safety. Now, I'm not gonna lie, sooner or later, you're gonna get burned trying this effect. Be prepared for that. But more importantly, make sure you don't send the house on fire. Make sure you actually have a fire extinguisher there. Take proper safety precautions. Don't go suing me or Revision 3. In fact, nobody should try this scam ever. Forget I ever said anything. But if you do try this little trick, Remember that the shape of your teeth has a huge impact on how well it works, whether or not you can pop the match forward or if you're better off striking it off to the side. Do whatever works best for you. If you have any questions, you can hit us up at the forums at scamschool.tv, where coincidentally you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your bar scam, you can hit me up at brianrevision3.com. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool, or you can follow my goofy adventures all over the United States at twitter.com slash wood. Next week, we're doing a special episode of Scam School where I'm going to perform the entire episode using only shadow puppets. Now, so far, I only have a spider and, and a rabbit, but I'm, work, I'm working on my shadow pint. In fact, in fact actually, I'm going I'm to go get a real pint right now. <laughs>